2007, 2008, when I got here, the teams were pretty small. I think at the time, the track team was only around 30, 40 kids. We weren't a team who had won many, you know, accolades. You know, we weren't taking conference championships. We were always getting maybe second or third. We had that one goal of winning conference. That was the one thing that both teams needed and wanted. Now we've grown to nearly 100. So that depth has allowed us at the conference level to really spread ourselves around and cover all the event areas, which we were not able to do in the past. And ultimately that's led to us winning conference championships again, which we hadn't done since the early 90s and for the guys ever. Yeah! Track at times can be a very individual sport, but we do want kids that are gonna buy into a team philosophy. You can't win a conference championship by yourself. Finding a student athlete that's very academically driven is important because they are putting a lot of time in. You will have to work when you come here. You know, as a student, there's going to be a lot of work, a lot of discipline, might be a lot of new changes for you, you know, as an athlete. You had practice majority of the week. The time management, the discipline, the determination, uh, the ability to work under pressure. The support is always going to be there. Support from the coaches, support from your teammates, and support from the community um, in all aspects of your life. And being in a sport and being a student athlete was awesome. It kept you in line and it kept you busy. You know, you're a student athlete, but you know, Coach Augustine emphasized you're a student first. I was really um, proud to be of a program that values education so much. Put your heart into this course. I, I didn't really realize until I got here how unique it really is. Uh, meeting some of the, uh, the athletes that I would be competing with if I decided to come to St. Norbert really sold me. But the tour is just they show you everything and everything's beautiful and everything's thought out and they're, we're doing construction and they just finished the Schneider Stadium when I visited so that was the big thing is they had their own track. And then when I just came I just kind of fell in love with the place. I um, really liked the energy and just how nice people were and things like that and I was like this has got to be fake, people are not this authentic, this nice, you know, and then come to realize it's just how Wisconsinites are. It's like it's small enough where you know a lot of people and you feel confident and you can always, you know, find a friend in a crowd, but then it's big enough where you're always meeting someone, someone new. I was being recruited to go to a lot of different places, so I did look around to other schools, talk with different coaches, but once I stepped on campus here and met with Coach, I just knew that there was a different culture um, and something that I wanted to be a part of. The meeting with Coach Augustine was, that was the seal the deal moment of I could see myself here, I can see myself running on this track and going to classes. You know, we can find some kids in high school that are maybe a little bit underdeveloped. Uh, some of the kids that we get are from smaller high school programs, and if we can get them in here and know they're going to work really hard, then I think we can show them a lot of improvement in their times and their jumps and their throws. I think St. Norbert is first class in everything we do. I think the buildings show that. All the infrastructure that we've updated in the last 10 years will um, be a true testament to that. Uh, the upgrades to the indoor facility, the new weight room, the new pool, uh, access to things that we have not had in the past. So we're looking ahead and saying we're going to be able to accomplish some really, really cool things because we've already done it um, with less. The one commitment uh, I made when I got here was when I was recruiting athletes, I let them know that regardless of the level, if they were good enough, we were going to take them across the country to find competition. Coach sees um, some of his athletes that can maybe compete at a different level, um, that they might not have the competition here right in the Midwest. Stanford, uh, North Carolina State, those were some of our early trips. Uh, Mount Sac in, in Los Angeles, California. Iowa State for an indoor meet on a 300 meter track was a great experience for them. We were at Penn Relays as well. At the national level, I think we've had um, 43 All-Americans between cross country and track and field. Uh, we've been at every national meet um, in the time that I've been here as well. We're one of the top five programs in terms of 800 meter success with All-Americans on the women's side. Uh, we've had some great 400 runners on the men's side and people expect St. Norbert now to be at the national meet. The ratio and the one-on-one -on -one intention that they're going to get in the classroom, they're going to find that in our track and field program as well. We really take the time to separate our practices out. Um, we try to get on the specific workout days, smaller event groups, so they're really getting the one-on-one -on -one attention to make them better athletes. 
uh, the longevity of our coaching staff should let parents know that we've got people in place that really want to see your sons and daughters succeed not just in the sport but also uh, with their academic and professional careers. The price, I mean, it's a big number, it's scary and you know, you think about going to state school because it's cheaper. We have a four-year graduation guarantee and that means that the kids are going to get out and be able to start work right away. Where if they were here for an extra semester or at another school for an extra semester, that's just going to add to the bottom line. What you're coming here for is the reputation that it has and that reputation is that they produce quality people who are willing to go out in the world and work their butts off. I got a job um, based off the internship that I had. I'm going to be teaching history, uh, American history this year. It was very easy to have a job because I think a lot of people um, saw me as a St. Norbert student and like that is amazing. I'm a financial representative at Northwestern Mutual. The academic experience that they're going to get, the one-on-one -on -one with their professors, um, and the opportunities for them to do really well when they go on to their employer or into grad school. Um, and then combine that with the chances they're going to get to compete at the highest end um, in track and field and cross country. St. Norman's one of those places with like a diamond in the rough in a sense, you know, it's just su such a hidden gem. It's a one of a kind school. I'm grateful for the opportunity that I had. You're proud to call yourself a knight. It is the best four years of my life, I would say.